我把选，我就。Looking back at the June 12th struggle and the state of the nation today, do you think the sacrifices made were worth it? It was never, never. I told you, I told you, it wasn't. It was a great mistake. A few days ago, I was asking some of the the, the, the gladiators of June 12th that how are you celebrate? How can you allow 29th of May to be called Democracy Day? All right. When on June 12th people came out and threw out a mass to vote, I was, you know, I was, a lot of people were short and asking that question if, if it's worth it. It's not at all. And it can never be worth it until we do the needful. The right people are celebrated. The, 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 the right people are put in the right places and, all, and, and, and to, to drive the, the, the ship of the country. The sacrifice is not worth it. Now, the, I learned that history has been removed in curriculum in Nigerian schools. So that they do it deliberately so that you will, not have, you will not know who you are or where you're coming from. How will you know where you're heading for? Where well, you don't know where you're coming from? Well, it's still growing and it's growing at a snail pace. That is still growing at a very slow pace. So basically, I think that there are still a whole lot to be done because um, you can't say for a sure fact that um, we are running 40% um, perfect democracy on a scale of 100, we can't say 40. Because of the fact that that date was annulled, a lot of things, it changed a lot of orientation. It made, it made Nigerians aggrieved. A lot of things that ought to have been was not. The expectation for June 12 was really high, so, but because of the fact that it was annulled, it um, dampened a lot of hope. That's why we said hope 93, because it was a hope that a lot of people were anticipating for then. Which was, you know, which was shattered. You understand? So, to a large extent, I think that affected democracy by like 50 percent. We will always remember June 12 because it's the watershed, something that had never happened before, and we're going to stand by it. We we are for June 12, and on June 12 we stand, and we will continue to stand. M K Abiola, who um, paid the supreme sacrifice for that, for that uh, achievement. Uh, remains the greatest hero of democracy Nigeria ever had. And um, we want to remind Nigerians that the, the killing of MKO's wife, Elijah Kudra Abiola, when the husband was in, was, was, uh, was, uh, was in detention, and the eventual killing of the husband uh, is the height of wickedness and some people must pay through legitimate means of course constitutional means some people must pay they must explain what happened to mq abiola we knew what happened to uh, the wife she was shot in the back of the head somewhere around ikeja here by the agents of tyranny and totalitarian dictatorship now, the husband, most wickedly, most uh, inhumanly, was also, they made, they, they made sure he didn't come out uh, alive. I think it's, uh, uh, it's uh, these are uh, wicked acts that Nigerians must still continue uh, to ask questions. Those questions have not been answered and we will continue asking. Well, the democracy today is that we have no democracy. We have not attained real, popular democracy in Nigeria. We are yet to attain that by the virtue of the fact that um, our constitution derived from a decree, uh, especially decree 24 of 1999. You don't decree a democracy. The people agree it and then it is constitutionalized by the people from a constituent assembly. So we cannot say, and we have seen in practice too, that we have no perfect democratic governance. So for us, doing this is to continue to advance the popular cause for democracy, that we will have constitutional democracy in Nigeria, we'll be able to consolidate that. That is the attempt here. Making sure that every Nigerian is given his right as a citizen and has the franchise to vote. Uh, this is basically what June 12 is about. Um, we know President Abiola was denied his mandate 
and because of that we keep coming back here to the home especially to show our solidarity with every strength that we have.